My name is Ken Brown. I am the manager of Streets Traffic and Electrical Operations. So we're here today just to kind of give a breakdown of what our weather, uh, winter weather response plan will be. As well as after that, we can talk about the different uh, types of equipment that we have in the background here and what we use them for. Um, so the city can respond to uh, various uh, weather events that we have, whether that is uh, rain, wind, ice, or snow. Um, what we do is we have our staff monitor uh, the different uh, forecasts uh, and then we uh, prepare our crews uh, and how they go out and the type of work that we do. Uh, we uh, also obviously will schedule our staff. We prepare the equipment uh, to deal with what the events come up. Uh, we'll also do preventative maintenance work. Uh, part of that maintenance work is uh, given the time of the year that it is, obviously we'll go out, we'll do uh, maintenance and inspections on the catch basins that we have. Uh, we'll also be doing the uh, leaf pickup, so we are clearing up the, the roadways of leaves at this time of the year, as well as we'll be applying brine, salt, and then we'll do any uh, snow plowing when they need to as necessary. Um, also too, given the time of the year, we always make sure and inform the residents just to make sure that they clear up all the, the leaves on their property, any uh, loose debris, uh, dispose of it properly. So we ask them to make sure that they place all the leaves in the uh, green bins that they have or else bag it um, and then that'll just be picked up on collection day. Uh, one of the other things that we ask, uh, especially given the time of the year when the temperatures are dropping, winter is approaching, uh, so we just want to make sure that the residents are well prepared for winter. We have asked the public to make sure that uh, according to the city bylaw to make sure that the uh, sidewalks are plowed or sorry shoveled uh, around their property. Uh, by 10 a.m. the following day after a snow event. When it does come to a weather event, if we have to dispatch crews, um, our first priority obviously is to deal with the bus routes, arterial roadways, uh, any of the collector roads, um, all the emergency accesses around the um, five major hospitals, as well as the bike lanes. Our fleet hasn't changed since last year, uh, but we do have enough equipment to deal with the, the various weather conditions that do come up. Um, so just give you a bit of a rundown on the equipment that we use for during a snow event. So right here we have is what we, it's a, one of our all-terrain vehicles, it's a Kubota. Um, so it has obviously the plow attachment on it. On the back end we have the um, assault unit, but we also have a, a brine unit as well. So these are what, uh, these are the units that we use on the bikeway, so nice and small, very easy to get around, very mobile. This one has a, a variety of attachments. The one that we have on here right now is our snow blower. We have two bobcats, we have uh, a broom unit, we have a bucket unit, uh, but we have, like say, for uh, snow, we, we have a snow blower. Very great units for getting around, easy to maneuver back and forth, to get into tight spaces. Uh, we utilize these units as well if we need to on the different bike routes. Here's what we have, is, uh, it's a one-ton dump. Uh, we typically call it a jitney, uh, but it's just one of our smaller dump trucks. Um, but this one comes obviously with a snow plow. We have uh, a salt unit on the back. I also have identical unit uh, beside it that has a brine unit. Uh, these trucks are also used on areas where we need to get into uh, that our larger dump trucks cannot. This is what we call a, a, one of our specials. We have five of these in total uh, that are all set ready to go. We uh, have these ones uh, just set aside during a snow event that can be used at any time. Uh, they come with a plow obviously you can see in the front. Uh, on the back, they also have a salt unit. Um, so these are the ones that we'll have as our first responders when we're dealing with any snow issues. So this is one of two flusher trucks that we use for uh, brine. So the city has a few of these that they use for obviously uh, flushing roadways, but we've adapted two of the units uh, during the winter time for uh, applying brine to the roadway. On the back end, we have a sprayer unit um, that we can, like I say, the operator will just drive down and uh, apply brine uh, to the roadways whenever we need it or the temperature is going to drop. The bonus for us with the brine is it's a, like I say, it's a great product because it's two items that we have a lot of, water and salt, so very easy to make. But it is a great product, especially when it's dry out. So it's a great preventative measure. Uh, if it is dry, we can apply it um, and it is good up to about 21 below. Um, once it starts to get wet out, then it obviously we'll start going with salt. We don't use this very often when it comes to snow events, only when we have major snowfalls that we would look at utilizing this. 
Um, these units we can, if we need to, we can put chains on them uh, for extra traction, but uh, we've only used it uh, probably since, haven't used it since the last major snow event we had quite a few years ago uh, when it came to dealing with some of the roadways. But uh, we do have it here. We utilize it for a lot of our construction projects, but it's great to have it uh, because like I say, it, uh, it doesn't get stuck. Uh, it's a great unit to uh, move snow off to the side for us if we need it in case of emergency. So we do have enough vehicles uh, if needed during a snow event. Thank you.